Hello, time for an ecosphere update and, strangely enough, this big long worm has been hiding in the dirt all this time. Had this ecosphere going about a month now and this worm decided to come out of the dirt, swim around. The fish have had a bit of a go at it. It's not faring too well, it's already had a bit bitten off but yeah, this worm here, as you can see, right here, that's the worm, came out of nowhere, is now food for monsters in the ecosphere. The shrimp's checking it out, oh here comes fish, he's going to have a go at it, peck peck peck. No, 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 didn't want to go at that time. Come on. This worm was just swimming. I had to rush for the camera. There's a shrimp right there. He's like, he doesn't know what to make of it. I think he's, he's, don't know if he's going to come in or not. Check it out. Worm swim. As you can see right there, at the top of the screen. Snail eggs, right there. There are about 15 snail egg clutches just like that, all through this little tiny ecosphere. Come on. Come on, let's see if anything goes to worm. The fish want it. The fish know it's there. They're like, I'm gonna eat you. Kind of glad this worm is in there. It's gonna be a great source of protein for the fish. Oh, there we go. The worm's moving. Come on, there we go. The worm is on the move. Maybe not. <laughs> and that's not food. I know it looks like food, but we don't feed this ecosphere. That's actually a leaf from the plant above that's been decomposing. Here we go, fish coming in. Worm detected trouble there. But this ecosphere, it's got my current pride and joy. And just a little update, folks. Here's my shrimp breeding tank. It's got some guppies in there too. But the shrimp, red cherry shrimp, are doing fantastic. And I expect to have some babies in there. There is a big, really huge mama shrimp that I actually took out of one of the old ecospheres. Put her in here. She's holding eggs. So, we'll have an update on these guys later. But the shrimp pretty much hide in here all the time. So you can see any, none around there. No, none there. They've shelled themselves a few times. There's some South American guppies in there with them. Ooh. But yes, the ecosphere is doing absolutely fantastic. If you haven't done one, folks, DIY ecosphere. This one cost me $20 to set up, $5 for the jar, $10 for the plants. Actually, I tell a lie, $30. $10 for the shrimp and the fish. So about $30 in all. Seal the lid up. Never have to feed it. DIY Ecosphere 2. Just a little update again. The worm.
came out of nowhere.